right, what's going on guys? Leroy here. Sorry for the uh, lack of uploads. Uh, been sick a couple of days, just uh, going through some stuff, but you know, I'm back. Sorry about the little hiatus. So, um, I'm gonna take this time to review, do I guess a full review on my laptop that I unboxed about a month ago. If you haven't seen that video, you can uh, check the, uh, I'll put a little card up here somewhere on one of these corners so this is the Dell Inspiron 3505 see right here it's a uh, 15.6 inches it's a uh, it's fairly I wouldn't call it lightweight nor heavy it's uh I call it I'd say it's like the weight of a if you if you stack two paper clips on top of each other, I'd say it gives you about that sort of weight. Um, so yeah, this is the the front of it. Just got the you know got the Dell logo there. Nothing too special. On the side, you got a, a USB. So I got a my wireless mouse plugged in there. You got a SD card reader. On the other side, you have. You got your Ethernet port, HDMI port, and two more USBs and a headphone jack. Yeah, so it's got a I wouldn't really call it heavy, but it, you know it's it's a decent weight. And on the back you got your uh, exhaust fan down here. Um but yeah, one thing I don't like about the build of this laptop is the fan on the bottom. I really feel like it should be on the side because it really if you have your laptop sitting down, you know, the air can't really escape. So it's going to get it's going to get hot. I haven't experienced that yet. I got a I got a little fan down here. But yeah, like the bottom of it does get kind of hot, but you know, that's one that's one of the few things I don't like about this laptop. I'll get into the rest later. Um, so when you want to open it, you can't really open it with one hand because the whole thing is going to lift up. So you just got to hold down the bottom and open it. So let me log in right quick. All right. So let's, uh, so I'm logged in. I'm going to switch cameras right quick. All right, so switch cameras. So um, I'm going to get into what I don't like about this laptop that I've noticed from what, you know, from using it. Um, so one thing I have noticed is that sometimes when I turn my computer on, like for the day, it disconnects from my Wi-Fi for whatever reason. So I have to reconnect to it probably... 80% of the times I turn it back on. So I really don't like that. It's a, it's a really, it's a, it's a huge inconvenience for me because if I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, I should just be able to just turn on my computer. I should just be connected all the time. So, you know, it's not that it, it's, it's a, it bugs me. <laughs> it, it really does. Um, another thing I don't like is that, uh, the, the keyboard, it's not a backlit keyboard. Granted, it's not, a, it's granted. It's not a deal breaker. But, you know, sometimes I don't really like being, you know, sometimes I don't really like to use my computer with the light on. I like to have it off. So I, you know, having a backlit keyboard would be helpful in that, in that particular situation. Um, yeah. So, and another thing that I don't like, I guess it has something to do with Windows 10, not necessarily the laptop, but with the voice assistant, uh, Cortana she um i guess she can only open apps instead of like you know fully using the computer you know with the voice assistant voice assistant so i'll uh i'll give you an example cortana cortana yeah. open google chrome and go to amazon.com now she doesn't want to listen to me let's try this again Cortana, open Google Chrome and go to Amazon.com. 
I'm sorry, I can't pull up websites here, but I can open apps. So essentially, Cortana can only open apps. You know, she can't really fully navigate your computer like, you know, your smartphone can. So I'll give you an example. Cortana. Cortana. Open Google Chrome. All right. So yeah, she can do that just fine. But, you know, as far as navigation is concerned, all she can really do is open apps, which is kind of pointless when I can just double clip whatever I want on it. So, you know, I feel like she's kind of useless at that point. So, um, I guess uh, what I do like about this laptop is that it is touchscreen. So I can, I'm not a big fan of touchscreen laptops because I feel like, you know, there's no point in having a touchscreen laptop when I can navigate with a mouse. But, you know, the feature is there. So I can double tap this picture. It's me in Egypt last year, actually around this time last year on my 30th birthday. You know, you can even pinch to zoom. So, you know, that's, uh, you know, it's pretty cool, I guess. Um... Let's test out the speakers. So I'm gonna go to YouTube right quick. Actually, I think I had a tab open already. Yep, I did. I'm gonna play the one of the iMovie songs just to avoid copyright and stuff like that. And I got the speakers on 100%. And uh, here we go. Me personally, it could be louder, but, um, you know, it is what it is. It's not, you know, they're loud for laptop speakers, but I've heard louder. Um, so one thing I have not done on this laptop, I guess yet, is game. Because I'm not really into PC gaming like I used to be back in the day. So, um, I, I'll probably download, like, League of Legends or something and play it for a separate video um because you know a lot of people were asking me in the in the original video i made for this about you know what it was like to play games i can't confirm or deny how smooth gameplay is because i haven't played anything on it yet because uh you know like i said i haven't really played an online game in god knows how long but um another thing i like about this laptop is um the, the space let me go to the, um, hang on, where am I, it's this PC, alright, it's been a long day guys, sorry, so, basically you got a, a terabyte of hard drive space, and here's your solid state drive, so, you know, it's a, if you, if you consume a lot of multimedia, this is a, you don't even need an external hard drive, but if you do, run out of space you know just grab that external hard drive but uh yeah i'm not gonna run out of space on this for a while because <laughs> you know i delete stuff i'm not a huge hoarder of files or anything like that so, you know when i especially with video files you know once i finish it a lot of times i just delete it i might keep it but it just depends on what it is um so the screen so the display itself it, it's nice but uh you know it's a uh, it's not a glossy feel to the screen like your phone or whatever, but uh, it's not, you know, the screen, it, it you know, it gets bright. It could be brighter, but it works, and it's at 100% brightness. But yeah, the, the keyboard, it you know, it can collect some dust, but you know, nothing a little compressed air can't fix, that sort of thing. And, uh... With this, uh, with, with Windows 10, you can actually connect your phone to it wirelessly. Or if you have a Samsung phone, you can use Samsung DeX, which is the most underrated feature on the face of the planet. I'll probably make a separate video on that as well. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this laptop, it's, uh, it's, it's treated me well so far over the, over the two and a half months that I've had it. 
Be, you know, besides the disconnection of the Wi-Fi issue, which is the biggest in my opinion, it's uh, it does its job. It's pretty fast. It uploads and downloads files pretty quickly. It's um, it's it. This computer is definitely great for anybody going off to college soon, or just wants just a laptop, just a you know, if you don't have one, if you want to replace your desktop computer, this is definitely a good alternative. I'll uh, I'll post the link in the description for it. In the meantime, I'll uh, within the next week or so, I'm gonna download a couple of games and you know play them and see what the frame rates like on the on this thing, and go from there. But you know, if I had to if I had to give a score for this, I'll probably give it like a solid seven out of ten. Yeah, solid solid seven out of ten because, you know, for when I when I bought it, it was five hundred and fifty bucks, and for what you get for that price, you know, it you're not gonna get top of the line specs. You're just not. I'm just gonna keep it real with you. You're not gonna get top of the line specs for a computer for five hundred and fifty bucks. But, you know, this thing it does what I want it. It does what I want it to do. It's you know hasn't slowed down on me yet. And you know it's a it's a solid it's a solid machine. I'm taking it for what it's worth. It's a solid machine, and like I said, I'm gonna definitely do some more tests on this. I just wanted to give like a I guess like a two month review on it because you know everybody was waiting on it. So you know, I um I definitely hope that this uh that that this review will help you with your future laptop purchase if you consider this one that'd be all you know it's a good choice it's not it's not a bad choice by any means Dell has never let me down and this is no exception but yeah if you guys have any further questions just leave a comment down below and I'll definitely respond in the meantime thank you very much for watching and stand by for more videos peace